All right, guys, so today we were supposed to go racing, but we weren't quite ready and the slicks didn't show up. So we're working on the truck some more. I'm doing some stuff that I wanted to do. Didn't have to be done, but I wanted to do. Plus I got a couple little things that I got to do on that old girl before we go do too much towing. So what we are doing right now is, so since I have now got the truck maybe more complete than it has been in a long time, I got a tranny temp gauge. I now, I got a tranny temp gauge. I removed one of the coolers that I did have because I didn't like where it was mounted. And I want to make sure we can keep the fluid cool doing what we're doing, loose converter, blah, blah, blah. So for a long time, I had a small cooler up front in the truck. We've done away with that completely. I have this cooler here, which is off of a, let's say a 2006 F350 with a six liter in it, which are pretty good size coolers. And obviously we just had those two fans on there. And I never had a problem as far as temperature went, um, but now we've got a looser converter and less, oops, and less um, cooler. So when we were out playing around, which you guys haven't seen those videos yet, um, it was starting to get a little warmer than I would have liked. It was pretty, pretty quickly got up to like 180 and it wasn't knocking temperature out fast enough. So I've changed the way that it's set up. So we have this cooler and I bought another one. And what we're going to do is we're going to stack of the two of them together and put them back, back here for you guys that didn't know. So there was the trans cooler. It was right here. That one I just, I just showed you. And then this is basically a extra rad for the system. And basically I have it coming out of the block. It comes out into this cooler, out of this cooler, back into the block again. So this is kind of like a big heater core, if you look at it that way. Now I've never had the fans actually hooked up on this for it to really do a job. It always just did the job that I needed it to do at the time, but now we're getting it more refined, I guess you would say. So we are gonna get these fans hooked up. And I think what I'm gonna do just for simplicity's sake we are going to wire so that when I turn this fan on, these fans come on. And I think the reason, in my head, the reason we're doing that is so that the air is not blowing, just being blown and hitting this rad and shoving it through. These fans will actually help those fans pull the air through everything and keep everything cool. That's the theory in my head anyway. So hopefully that works out for us. But right now, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to get... So these are the, I made these up little chintzy stands years ago. They will continue to be chintzy stands because they work. So what we're gonna do is mount that one and this one together. I don't know whether I'm gonna put foam between them or not. I have not decided. So we'll see. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get that mounted together, get that hooked up and teed and all of the stuff. However, we're gonna have it hooked. I'm not 100% sure how we're gonna hook it up just yet. Um, but I have some fittings and hose and stuff so we can do a couple different ideas. I just want, I don't want to make a restriction in the system. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to hook them in parallel instead of series um, so that we don't have a restriction issue because a restriction issue turns into a transmission issue and I don't want to have that. So let's get after it. <clears throat> all right guys so we got that mounted i had to do a little bit of wonky some different stuff i probably should just made a bracket but anyways and drill in the holes so i took these brackets off of this cooler well that's the top one but i took the side brackets and stuff off and they weren't in the exact same holes as these i just drilled the holes out bigger they weren't in the same spot that's okay we got it figured out it will work smashingly so we got to take this now and move it up there. But before I do that, I'll, I'll throw you guys back in a time lapse. I just thought I'd do a little quick what I'm doing so you can you can see in the video. Are the wiring coming through the floor there? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend this wiring before I put the cooler back in there so it's not in my way for extending the wiring because we want to be able to plug, or we need to be able to run these two fans and then these two fans. And like I said, I have enough power in the, the wiring that I've run up here. Um, so we're gonna do that, but I need to, extend that wiring first. So I'm just gonna bring the tripod over. We're gonna extend this wiring so that we can hook up those fans and these fans all to the same thing. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to put in a weather pack connector or if I'm just going to put them together. I haven't quite decided yet. I don't really plan on taking them in and out. So I guess I really don't need it on a weather pack connector. So that's what we're going to do anyway. So I am going to, I'm just going to cap these lines off, take the air blower and blow this dirt out of here. And then uh, we'll extend that wiring so that we can grab both those fans and these fans. Like I have already said. And yeah, let's get after it. All right guys, so we got that thing mounted. So you guys can really see it that well or not, but we got both of them mounted in there, fans all wired up. I am gonna have to do a little bit of monkeying around. I guess I still gotta strap that up, my overflow. Um, but we're gonna have to do a little bit of monkeying around because it's drawing a little bit more amperage than I was first anticipating that it was going to. So I'm gonna have to upgrade this. The wiring is heavy enough, but this little um, unit right here is not as heavy like you can see the wire difference between this one and this and it's drawing like 18 amps and this is a 20 amp fuse that doesn't really bother me because it would just burn a fuse but this wiring is starting to get hot when you're running it so i'm gonna have to get a heavier one of these one for 30 amps and then we'll wire it back in because the relay is good for 30 is good for 30 amps so we'll be good as far as that goes just have to get everything set up right so we don't burn it to the ground being a commonly thing, a common thing right now. So we don't want to do that. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start it up, make sure don't have any leaks and then we'll be good. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I wanted to let you guys know there's some new merch. Go check out the merch. This is one of the new t-shirt designs for you guys that haven't seen it yet. There's a bunch of new designs on the website. Go check it out. I appreciate everybody that's been buying. It's awesome. <laughs> guys that's it for this one check out this next video